Oh my god. Incredible. Oh my god. This is this is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. I remember there was a time when if I heard something strange or unlikely, I would usually just reject it with some kind of cynical, sarcastic response. But once you've been in a robot restaurant, or a monkey bar, there goes my food, or an actual fox village. Oh no. Help me, Rachel. Help me. <laughs> what is it you seek in Fox Village? It kind of makes that cynical, sarcastic response frighteningly redundant. So, on a recent trip to Hiroshima, when a friend mentioned a place called Rabbit Island, an island hidden away in the inland sea of Japan, an island literally drenched in rabbits and containing a derelict chemical weapons facility. I accepted its existence without question and set off the next day to uh, roll around in a pile of rabbits. Rabbit Island's actual name is Okunoshima and it's about a two hour journey from the city of Hiroshima by train and by boat. The first thing you notice about the island is its transmission tower, which isn't surprising given it's the tallest in all of Japan. A fact which makes the whole trip at least seven times more exciting. The boat ride came with a list of warnings, such as not to chase the rabbits around, give them human food, and of course, not to leave your own pet rabbit on the island, as pet rabbits are utterly useless. The first thing that surprised me was how confident and friendly the rabbits were as they ran over to greet everyone and pose for photos. Word on the street is if you rustle a bag, all the rabbits will come. So. Thinking of the rabbit's welfare, I'd spent all my pocket money on rabbit food. But unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan. <laughs> whoa, 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 you bastard! You bastard! Oh no! What have you done? You know what you've done? This cost a hundred yen. This was a hundred yen. Unbelievable. The rabbit's reign over the island is unquestionable, with their initial friendliness hiding a thuggish gangster mentality underneath. Strangely, no one seems to know where the rabbits came from, although there are numerous theories. Some say that rabbits were invented by the Japanese in the late 19th century as an effective way of disposing of unwanted lettuce. But a more likely and boring theory is that some schoolchildren let them loose on a school trip several decades ago and in the absence of natural predators, the rabbits went on to thrive. As you walk around the island, you'll find numerous crumbling structures that are the remains of what was once the centre of Japan's chemical weapons programme. In stark contrast to the island's newfound cute reputation, Okunoshima has quite a dark history. In the 1920s, the island was chosen by the military to be the primary site of Japan's chemical weapons production. It was chosen due to its location, being conveniently positioned to key military installations in Hiroshima, but also being relatively isolated, enabling its production to remain in secrecy. For 16 years from 1929 to 1945, the site was operational, producing primarily mustard gas, until it was shut down after the war and occupying Allied forces disposed of the gas. As you walk around the island and see tourists smiling and playing with the rabbits, it can be difficult to believe such a beautiful island was once at the centre of something so destructive. 
but as well as the old buildings, the island's poison gas museum stands as a reminder of the island's role, ensuring future generations can reflect on the horror of chemical weapons and a dark chapter in the island's history. Hey, out of there, out of there. Don't you dare go in there. What's going on over there? Ah, uh, that's what happened. I reckon rabbit food plus rabbits plus equals good Facebook profile photo. And it will give the illusion that I'm a nice person. Mm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Lay down, lay down. I hate you. On your stomach. I hate you. Put them on your stomach. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. Oh. Fucking hell. Um, yeah. Come to Rabbit Island and uh, just lay, lay with the rabbits like this. And it's the, the sneezing ones. Ow. Um, it's a little bit painful, but it's quite fun. It's like a massage, but with rabbits. Oh my god. Incredible. Oh my god. <clears throat> hey. You know, these rabbits are all diseased, Chris. What? Okay, fun's over. Go. Go. Yeah, come to Rabbit Island. It's good. That was surreal. Uh, it's been my lifelong dream to uh, lay in a pile of rabbits, and today that dream was realised, so. If you want to do the same, Bunny Rabbit Island. See you later. Okay, I, need to, I need to shout. <laughs> so badly. If you're subscribed to this channel, due to some recent changes on YouTube, not everyone is getting notified when a video comes out, which defeats the whole object of being subscribed in the first place. There is a quick way around it though. Click on the settings box next to the subscribe button and then click on send me your notifications and it'll make sure you're always notified when a video comes out. You can also follow on Twitter and Facebook and the new Instagram where photos are uploaded every other day. I think every other day? Every other day, yeah. With lots of cool new stuff on the way, it would be a shame for people to miss out. So please like, subscribe, follow. See you there. Thanks for watching. Oh. Didn't really work, did it? <laughs>